business plenary titled Collaborate for a Bright New Era of the 7th Belt and Road Summit gathered business leaders from Belt and Road and Arset Markets who shared their insights on driving economic growth and promoting cross-border collaboration between businesses of all sizes. Hong Kong is a world-class international financial centre that services the region and the world. Asset under management was more than 4.5 trillion US dollar, more than 12 times of our GDP, and two-thirds of this are from outside of Hong Kong. We are a central player in the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area, with a population of 86 million and per capita GDP at around US dollar 20,000. That is also a huge consumer market. There's 80 some million people in the GBA, and now with ASAP and the Belt and Road Initiative, what are the opportunities and mutual benefit and how do we contribute to the greater success of RCEP and BRI? RCEP RCEP的签订提高了地区贸易投资自由便利化 Already we see many more opportunities to expand trade and investment to our neighboring countries. We can also better link with the world market, especially with the CLMV countries. RCEP, particular I think from an Australian viewpoint, and I'm sure from New Zealand as well, it strengthens our ties with some of the key Southeast Asian nations and will allow us to pursue different trade opportunities there. The links to the trading links to Japan, Korea and China are already strong and clearly we would want them to strengthen further. We were fortunate enough to really negotiate a free trade agreement with all parts of China and that opened up our market billions of fast growing affluent consumers and I think we see that around the world. Governments and businesses can partner together and utilize and leverage RCEP and BRI to promote multilateral understanding. This can lead to much needed recovery and growth after the last three years of economic damage caused by COVID.